Hello everyone. Lovely wet day here in sunny Cornwall. So I thought I'd do a catch up on the videos. Um, we haven't had a chance to do a lot because we've been quite busy with other things. We've got a, a big project on at the moment for a theme park up in Melton Mowbray. And uh, the boys are on with that. But we've got a few little jobs done. Ian's been here a couple of days and caught up with a few things. And uh, of course Colin's been down working on his tractor. So uh, I'll just catch you up on what we've been up to and then we'll show you a bit of Colin with his tractor, where we've got to with that and, uh, and go from there, see where it goes. So, Right, well I'm in the welding shop at the moment and this is what we're doing. This is um, some frameworks, these will actually be some terrors and uh, they're they build up and make a hexagonal tower and then they'll be joined up with bridges between them and they're covering a water road. It's quite a challenging job and there's a lot of work and welding in it. We've got this pile of plates here, they've all been laser cut. There's a hundred of them there and they get welded onto the end of steel legs and the steel legs are joined together and these will be part of a tower and those towers will have a top and a bottom to them. There's one there completed. This one's on the jig. Well, that one's eight really. That's been turned, the other side's been welded. That one is um, on the jig being welded. So there's a stack of steel cut, all ready to go. We've got another lot in, that's all been washed off. And that'll be cut up probably tomorrow. There's another stack on the rack there. This steel really has got price in there. My God, it made me cringe when I was paying for this lot, but, but at the end of the day, I suppose we'll get paid for the job. So, so that's it. So, so that's, that's what we make the towers with. And if we just step outside, Those are the legs all cut to length. There's probably, I don't know, four and a half, five thousand quid's worth of steel there. That's horrendous. That's, was the last time I bought like that was about 3,000 pounds. So we'll get back into something you, you know more about. This is the, the major. Still stood in the same place, surprisingly enough, but it has been moved. We've uh, done the water pump on it. That's the Royal Wee, because Ian did it. But that's all good to go now, really. It's, uh, it should be back in the shed, but we've still got the wiring to do, and I wanted to, to get the starter. The starter works, but it's, it's all these wires are still loose and need sorting out, and the ignition switch is seized up. So we'll get that sorted out, and then this can stay in its original form, and it can be like that. So that's the tractor sorted out. So there's the steel. We've got to the top shop. Oh, this is a, what we've done this week. I don't know if you saw it in the back of the video I did the other day when I was loading or when I was loading the tractor and Colin was filming. Our shed door, the sliding door on there, which has been there for oh Christ, 30 years ago at least I built that. It finally gave in, the bottom collapsed and uh, we had to shut it with a forklift and it didn't do any good. It wasn't going to open again. So I've uh, put a new roller shutter door on it. Um, they only finished fitting it yesterday and now uh, we've got to tidy the gutters up and just generally square it up. It's, it's quite surprising how tatty everything gets if you're not looking at it all the time. So that's a big result. That door will be electric up and down, uh, make it so much easier. The old sliding door did good service for a lot of years, but it got very hard to lift and I'm not sorry to see the back of it. So I got to the top shop, um, the David Brown 1490 that was stood there. I got it in the workshop and I've done what I said. We put the bigger tires on the front, but I haven't changed the back tires. And it's actually transformed the thing. 
I'll show you a picture of the the before and after. But that's after. That's got 916s on the front now. And the back wheels, um, I'd, got, I'd got more wheels to put on it, but actually when we went to do it, there was some bolts missing and the valve had gone in. We think it was ripped off. And I thought, no, not, I haven't got time to mess about with that. So we put those big wheels on it. But what we have done is altered the track on it. So the back wheels have come out now. And although it's only four inches, what a difference it's made to it. So the tractor now, instead of looking like someone on two smaller wheels, has come together really well. And that is a nice tractor. So I'm still debating about how to do the bonnet and that. I mean, the tractor itself isn't that bad. And I'm, I'm inclined to, if I could only get rid of that rust on the bonnet and the mud guards, it's pretty sound. And yeah, I could spend a lot of money doing it off, but it's not going to make it worth any more at the end of the day, or I'll never recover the cost of doing it up. So I'm inclined to just keep it good. So, so that's where we are with that at the moment. I think I'll probably give it better than a, a roller finish on the, the bonnet. You know, I may, may still take those off and spray them, put some new transfers on, but definitely not a full restoration going on that one. The reason being, this is David that's not gonna buy any more tractors. Look what I've got. Um, this came to me via Jim, my, call him my agent. Oh, guess what I've got. <laughs> um, it's a 995. It's very, very clean. You know, there's the engine. And I've, it sort of hit me. There's no oil leaks, nothing anywhere on it. It drives nicely. Everything on it works. Uh, it's not had the best life. It's the front's a bit knocked about, but you know it's worth saving. It's it's all there. The cab itself is pretty good. It's um, it starts and stops when it should. I put the road brush on it yesterday. I tidied the yard up a bit more, so everything works on that. It's got the wrong lights on the back, but you know, is it worth doing anything to? So I shall see. I've got <laughs> this one comes with two brothers, <laughs> so I've got another 995 coming and a, a 1210, both with loaders on. They'll be here next week sometime, so somewhere else to show you. I really am going to have to start selling some of these tractors. I'd love to keep them all, but there's a limit. I just can't get any more indoors. So I think, uh, I'm not sure I'll sell that. I might sell something a bit more, a little bit older that needs a new home. I've got some fairly nice 990s could go and, uh, you know, two or three if I start looking. Am I really going to get round to it? No, I'm not. So we might as well move some on. Um, you know, I said about some containers I was going to buy. We've got those in now. So I think they're good insulated containers. Um, and I think what I'll probably do, the better tractors, the little Ford 3000, you know, that deserves to be in an insulated container really. And maybe ship one of the Land Rovers over in there as well. Uh, the 3000s back in that shed at the moment. No, it's, it's dry enough, but uh, doors aren't very good on it. So that's destined for that. At the moment, I've got a big export order, which we're putting together for Peru and Ecuador. So one container each for the bits and pieces that are coming for that. And that's due to go out probably in two weeks time, but I've got to keep it separate because we've got other things going on. So that's about caught me up here. I'll show you. Um, I'll show you now. You saw, I showed you me loading the tractor and Colin filming. Well, we've uh, we went and pressure washed the tractor, uh, which I'll show you. And uh, then Colin's brought it back here. 
he's spent quite a bit of time rubbing it down and yesterday we loaded that up and we've taken it to where it's going to be sprayed so so I'll, I'll show you that now and then i'll come back to you later so this this tractor we know it's um no, it's 1965 and the guy that's it's come from he's had it since 1966 he bought it a year old and he's kept it ever since Right, Colin's been busy on this tractor and uh, still at it. Okay. He's preparing it ready for spraying. It's going off in a minute to be sprayed. He's still moaning about everything, so it must be all right. I'm going to get this ready to put that on first. Now, that's a major job. Uh, okay. There he is, he's cleaned it all up very well. He's done a good job. All in the gearbox, all cleaned up. It's going off to be sprayed later on today, or not sprayed today, but we're gonna deliver it.
Hey, was that masking tape, Colin? Very bloody rubbish, boy. Every bloody thing you buy is second hand, isn't it? <laughs> I think so. It's crap. Well, as long as you're happy, that's the main thing. I'll be happy when you get under this bloody tractor and undo that bolt. I put something to catch the oil in somewhere. Uh, yeah, right. A rag for to wipe your hands on. So what he's trying to say to you is, we're about to put the foot plates back on. They've all been cleaned off and ready. But there's one bolt when you take it out, uh, it all runs out. So it has to be two-handed, really. Bumper buggers to catch, I'll tell you, that's nothing. As long as you're happy, Colin, that's the main thing. Oh, I'm happy, boy. Good boy. Right, so all the tin work's gone off to the sandblasters. That should be back later this week, or next week now. And... Uh, then we'll get the red stuff well, I on. I hope it'll be back this week. Bloody hell. Uh, this week, Saturday now. Got a lot to do in a month. Saturday. You've got nothing else to do. You're retired. Should be. <laughs> right, so that'll do for now. Be we'll see you later. Right, Colin's in charge of the driving today. Because we've decided he's no good as a photographer. More cough. Okay. Just a little bit more. Oh. A little bit more, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, what a perfectly smooth job that was. What do you say, mate? I'm, I'm going to keep filming because I'm going to watch you fall off it now, like you wanted me to last week. It's easier with a foot press on. That's no excuse. Don't you fall off. The only reason I let you do it last week was there wasn't a bloody footsteps on there. <laughs> let the young ones do the work. That's the way I know. No, you've negotiated that bit. Super job. Right, we'll see this later on. Right, I think that's it for now. Um, can't think of it. Oh, did you notice the taped up steering wheel on the 135? I actually managed to get hold of a proper steering wheel for it, so Colin had masked it up, so don't look for the new steering wheel, but it has got one. Um, so I've got the steering wheel. All the tin is still over at um, Mike James being uh, sandblasted and hopefully I'll pick that up later this week and then once um, that'll go over and that tin work will be sprayed and then we'll bring all the bits back here the, the tractor itself the back wheels are being sandblasted there's new front wheels for it um, so once we've got that back we'll bring it all back here and I'll show you a bit more film of it being put back together we're still on target to get it ready for, the aim is to get the tractor and the concrete mixer that was on the back of it. That's also being sandblasted. We're going to get that back and we're going to get it up at Royal Cornwall Show. Um, it'll be there as Colin Williams tractor and, um, you know, good for him, 87. Be 88 in October. I just hope he's a miserable bugger. <laughs> as you can see. But, you know, we have a laugh. <laughs> he doesn't like the camera being pointed and he, he goes a bit grumpy. He could be worse than Ian on that one. But um, anyway, we'll, we'll get it back together. Ian's been here a bit, but I haven't, I managed to catch him with a camera. I've been busy with other things, so, so we've not done it, but we will get them together. So, yeah, we're looking forward to that. Um, I think that's all I've got to say, really. So, 
till next week or next time I do one, whenever I've got time. Um, cheerio for now and look after yourselves.